please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get all my latest updates. Hello everyone, this is Chini from the Cyber Trip channel and in this video I'm going to show you how to find out admin panel of any website. So there are multiple methods available on the internet and this is one of the method. I'm going to use Gloom framework to identify admin panel. So come to your Kali Linux where you installed Gloom framework. If you don't know how to install, please check out my other videos. I have uh, some you know basic installation steps and then some functionality of Gloom framework. Please check them out. Those are worth watching. And here I have it already. So Gloom framework. And uh, if you type ls, you can see that gloom.py it's already installed on my computer. So python gloom.py. If you haven't installed that, that's not gonna work out. So please follow the other video. So unrealsecurity.net, this website actually. So list, oh, sorry, help actually. Uh, you type so that you can see available modules. And among them, I'm gonna use admin panel finder okay so i'm gonna copy that because i tried typing but that's not gonna work so i'm pasting it i hit enter so it's asking me a website so if you give a website name it's gonna use a dictionary file or something like that to identify the admin panel of the target um, i don't have any website name so forgive me gloom framework creators i'm gonna use your website only that is unrealsecurity.net so please forgive me enter now it's gonna find out admin panels of unreal security .net itself they know that unreal security people they know already that someone is going to do that so they kept an attractive name called admin and if you try opening that from your side and see how it will look like so but as i've already gone through so i'm going to open that c panel thing so copy copy link address now if you try accessing that in your browser you can actually see cpanel of that particular unrealsecurity.net okay so all you have to have is username and password so how to get username and password you can try performing sql injection or you can try performing password cracking methods so there are multiple methods available out there i'm going to list a few of them in the description so please check them out i hope you like this video if you like it or not please let me know by liking or disliking and comment what kind of other videos you want and stay tuned to get more videos like this have fun